Welcome back. Thanks for joining. This is EC's EDC, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Evergoods Civic Half Zip 26, otherwise known as the CHZ26. So this bag is the larger of the two bags in the Civic Half Zip family. Um, there is a smaller Civic Half Zip 22. Um, this is a fantastic bag. It offers incredible flexibility um, from work to play, bringing it to the woods, um, and even travel. So we're gonna go through all the features, dive in, talk about who it's for, what its best use cases is, and perhaps identify if this is a good bag for you. Now, the Evergoods uh, family have developed a custom 840D ballistic nylon that is used on the exterior of this backpack. Um, it's also DWR finished, making it great for weather resistance. There are two exterior zippers, one here on the side of the bag. This is that half zip, right? This is the half zip that goes water bottle pocket to water bottle pocket. And there is one here at the top. This is the yoke pocket or quick access. These are YKK zippers. They're both reverse coil and the larger one the main entrance to the bag is a number 10 and the yoke pocket is a number eight. On the sides of the bag, we have two bottle pockets. These are made of Evergood's um, stretch fabric. They're stretch mesh. Uh, personally, I find these to be the best bottle pockets I've ever used. They even have small cutouts down here. And these cutouts not only allow water to drain out in case you were to have a spill, but as debris and you know whatever else you put in here or find its way into here, um, this gives it a chance to filter out so you don't collect that pocket of dust or lint. These are also sized to fit a one liter Nalgene. So this is uh, currently very packed um, intentionally to show you what I can put in here, but this is the one liter Nalgene and that fits in there no problem. One of my favorite features about the Evergoods bags is these bottle pockets. Now at the top of the bag, we have our primary grab handle. Uh, this is it's comfortable. Uh, this is the same grab handle you'll see across all of Evergoods bags. There is no padding. It is, there is a small plastic, um, small piece of plastic here that runs the, the length of the handle. And on the sides of the handle, there are two loops, which you can, um, attach gear to via you know cord or perhaps a, a carabiner. Spinning the bag around we can take a look at the back panel. Now the back panel is their current version. Uh, this is the the spacer mesh here um, behind this nylon fabric. I find that you know in the bags that I own uh, with this newer back panel, it breathes very well. It's very comfortable. Um, these channels allow for sufficient air to flow and the breathability of the foam that they use in here is, is quite good. And even in the strength of summer heat, um, you know, all backpacks are going to make you sweaty. You know, you just got to take that with a certain grain of salt. This one does a great job of keeping you cool. The shoulder straps, these are contoured uh, to be very comfortable. They are made of uh, Zote, I believe it's uh, the Zote foam, um, I'm not sure which specific foam they use, I think it's the 50, Zote 50, um, across their Evergoods bags. And up here we have the webbing where you can, or the daisy chain where you can attach their sternum strap. Um, this bag does come with the sternum strap and you can see there we have the Evergoods logo stitched in. This sternum strap is removable. Uh, it is also reversible. So if you want to flip that around so it's left hand action versus I would call that right hand action, um, you can go ahead and do that. Also with the majority of Evergoods bags uh, because they are cross function, um, this small sleeve here gives you the ability to pass through a water bladder hose. Um, 
and the bladder, we'll look at that in the inside. There's a small loop where you can hang that inside the bag. So that's a quick rundown of the exterior features. Um, one thing I will mention about the, uh, the straps, there is no strap keeper, no strap management. Uh, these will just dangle. Um, unlike some of the other Ever Evergoods products, uh, they, don't, they don't provide you with that. So you will have to buy something third party if you want to bind this with um, a piece of elastic or perhaps just a small piece of hook and loop to secure this down to the to their piece of nylon. But I do know that is, uh, you know, something folks talk about and same could be said about the sternum strap um, that will just dangle off when connected. So the CHZ26, it does have a smaller version, that 22. Uh, that 22 liter is a great size. This 26 liter is gonna be um, significantly larger in terms of what it can fit. And that's also gonna play a role in whether this bag is for you and what purpose you plan on using it for. Now, I have this currently packed um, in a travel scenario. So we will take a look at what I have in here and I'll also show you what this will look like if I were to take this to work with what I would consider my EDC. So yes, we have this water bottle pocket. It's got my Zoji Rushi uh, 20 ounce insulated thermos. I'm just gonna put that aside for now. And we will jump on into the inside of the bag. So first up, we have the quick access pocket. And this quick access pocket is super big along with you know the design that they've created so when this when they were creating bags they they were going for an ergonomic comfortable design and if you see here there is an extra panel sewn in and this allows the back panel to curve forwards up and around your shoulder uh, rather than just being a straight panel and having everything open right here or have this attached right here. And in adding the panel, they were able to create this yoke pocket, um, which is very large. And in here, I have Evergood's new Civic Access uh, pouch half, cap half, whatever you want to call it. And this is, this is like a catch-all for me. Um, a lot of this stuff would just be floating around in there. Um, so I've got my work badge and commuter pass. I've got a, just a pen, knife, flashlight, chapstick. Um, typically there is uh, some floss in here. And you know, if, if I needed to bring a couple other small things, that would easily fit in here. And I'm still testing this out, trying to figure out exactly how I'm using that as it's pretty new to me. Um, but this pocket up here also has, I didn't mention this, um, it also has a lanyard and a plastic Duraflex um, clasp, a spring-loaded clasp for you to secure your keys. Um, keys, those would also be up here most of the time. So when you open the Civic half zip line, because it's a half zip, right, this is gonna drop down. And Evergoods designed these two pockets pretty smartly. Um, this lower of the two pockets, right? When this is, when this lid is up, this is the lower pocket. The zipper is actually on the bottom so that when this is open, it becomes a zipper on the top. And they've got this great stretch mesh that you'll see across many of their products. And in here I have two micro topo pouches, but um, it's a pretty cool design, right? Like if you were in, and you'd have to be smart about how you pack this out, right? If you open this, this is one of the most accessible pockets on the bag, along with whatever you're putting in here. And just being, you know, smart and proactive about what you're gonna need, what you're gonna have access to, and what you wanna have access to, this is a great way to access this pocket. Whereas if this zipper was in the same position as this top pocket zipper, you know, if I were to open these, you know, my stuff's, my stuff's gonna come out. So I can't really, I can't use this pocket when it's in this upside down um, orientation. So, cool thing, right? It works. Um, 
This bag does stand on its own when fully packed. If it's not fully packed, it does want to teeter, and you know, depending on what you've got inside, it will stand, maybe it will, maybe it won't. But let's, uh, let's take a look at what I got inside. As mentioned, uh, we have this mesh pocket down below. All these pockets do hold their own independent volume, giving you the ability to actually put some things in here, um, some substantial things in here. This top pocket, this opaque pocket, um, is large enough to hold, you know, I've got my keys, uh, carabiner in here. For reference, let's pull out that newer half cap, um, see if that fits in here just for your understanding. It does fit, uh, you know, I had to force that in there a little bit, but it certainly does fit. And again, that independent volume, and you can see here from the profile, what that pocket sizing actually looks like. It's quite triangular and is fairly substantial. So, you know, right now I've just got my keys and my carabiner in there. And then let's take a look at what is inside the bag. So, you know, when you're comparing a half zip to a clamshell, you, I can't show you what else is in this bag. This is all I can show you. I'm gonna have to pull stuff out to get to stuff at the bottom. Whereas if this was a clamshell, we'd be looking at the entire contents of the primary compartment of this bag. So up here at the top, this is the back side of the quick access of the yoke pocket. And there is a series of webbing loops here. I'm gonna pull off my triple lot design booster pod and I've actually got these Fidlock, Fidlock snaps um, secured up here. These are the split bar snaps and it just allows me to you know move this pouch in between my other bags. Um, I like to switch up my pouches but this one kind of comes with me everywhere I go and this is like my snack pouch. Sometimes it will hold you know something else whatever it happens to be but I like to have this sort of modular capability and I think the webbing up here, you know, I don't use it for anything else. Some folks could put a pen or a stylus up there, but I think it's great for attaching pouches. Um, in the past, I've also put cap ones up here. I've seen folks put a cap two in certain bags, probably not this one, um, maybe more on the, uh, the CPL or CTV lines. So under that, I've just got a pair of Sony XM3 headphones. And we're starting to see um, the laptop. The laptop's poking through. This is a 16 inch laptop. We'll look at that. Um, I've got here the Evergoods Civic Access Pouch 1 liter Cap 1. Uh, this, is, this is my daily tech. Uh, cables, power adapter, uh, small power adapter, battery bank, some earbuds, and a pen. There's a notebook in here. This is what I would take to work and back with me. Then we've got ourselves the Evergoods Cap 2. Uh, this is the one in ultra red. I have this packed out as a sort of long-term tech pouch. I've got my laptop charger and cable. This is a battery bank slash wall adapter. Here is just an external battery bank. I've got cables in here. I've got a couple pouches. Um, I've got a small Tom bin pouch in here. Uh, this is just an example of what I might bring if I was, you know, traveling for longer than a day um, and needed some tech. And then lastly, at the bottom of the Civic half zip, we have the Evergoods packing cube. This is the black colorway, obviously. Um, but these are sized to fit in all of Evergoods bags. So behind that, we have the stretchy pocket uh, that is sized to fit up to a 16 inch laptop. And it's true, um, the 16 inch does fit without a problem. Um, 16 inch MacBook Pro, that is the current year model. And I also have an iPad in here. 
We have a, a small Evergoods tag designed and developed in Bozeman, Montana. We also have that same patch here on the inside designed and developed in Montana. Shows you the 840D ballistic nylon with the uh, 50D monofilament back panel. So that is, you know, that is your, that's what we got in here. Um, I got a lot of stuff in this bag, as you can see, and this is sort of designed for travel. So in here I have um, four t-shirts, four pair of underwear and socks, and a pair of sweatpants. Um, so potentially quite a few days of travel. I could have easily put in a small dop kit in here. I chose not to. You could sub one of these, one tech for, for a dop kit, and you know, you've got yourself a travel bag. So if I were to take this to work, let's put the laptop, laptop and iPad back inside. Um, one thing that I experienced using the half zip line is, and it's not so much a bad thing, it's something you have to determine whether it's you know, worth it for you, are you gonna be able to deal with it? Um, now this was the first Evergoods bag I ever had, so I never thought about any other way of using you know, a laptop situation. This quick access pocket, this yoke pocket, on the 16 inch machine, it overlaps your machine. And just slightly, you have to pull it back. All right, so I'll do this from the top. Just so slightly, you have to pull this back to pull the machine out in front of it. I never even noticed that being a problem until someone mentioned it, you know, a little while later to me. And, and, you know, and then I had started using the CTB and the CPL series more with that external laptop compartment. Um, so here on the 16 inch machine, it is a little troublesome and cumbersome to, to bring it out, not so much going in. Um, that is just something to take into account. There's also not a great place for a tablet. I just have these two machines on top of each other. I always thought it would be a really nice addition if they were to put that tablet sleeve, a second stretch mesh, um, here the same way that the Panel Loader Classic has. I thought that would have been a great addition to this line so that folks who have, I mean, most folks are now carrying an iPad with them. Um, so that could just kind of get tucked like that. You know, just be right there, it's on top, it's separated. But this is fine. Um, the machine's secure. I, I don't worry about them scratching each other. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll be fine. But going back to traveling to work, um, I'm always gonna have my headphones. I'm always gonna carry my tech. I won't be bringing my, my Cap 2 unless I'm bringing my camera to work. If I'm bringing my camera, I might bring a Cap 2 because that is also what, the, what I carry the camera in. We will place the Triple Ot Design Booster Pod back up top. And a lot of times when I go to work, um, I will bring a small packing cube, this Peak Design packing cube, and I'd probably be wearing the jacket in the morning, those cold mornings, but on the way home, it might be in the bag. So that packing cube just kind of keeps it separate, makes it easy to get to if I need it, also protects it. Um, uh, we got the Cap 1 in there, and we got my headphones in there. So, if you are looking, we have a ton of space in here still, right? There's a ton of space. You've got all of this sort of volume that rests above where the Cap and the laptop and this uh, packing cube and headphones are. So this is one of the downsides to a half zip. One of the half zips kind of applies to both when they're not fully packed out. So when we zip this up, when we zip this up, I have contents here in this top pocket on the inside. You'll notice because of that outward triangular design, 
the weight shifts down. And that gives this sort of a, you know, sort of a little beak, if you will. It's kind of like a rhino horn. Um, I don't think it's ugly. Some people find it to be not aesthetically pleasing. Um, but, you know, if you're not packing this to the brim and you don't have any way to structure support here on the inside of the bag, it does sag on it. And that's also dependent on what you put up here. If you don't have a lot of heavy stuff in here, this isn't gonna sag so much. So, for example, you know, I've got these heavy keys in there. If I take that out, If I take that out, you still have the rhino horn, right? This, this is still gonna protrude a little bit, uh, but it doesn't sag. There's no weight pulling this down. There are, and it's actually a lie, there are two of those micro topo pouches here. They're pretty lightweight. I don't think that's pulling too much. Um, but as these interior pockets are packed out, this is gonna, it's gonna fall downwards. So just note that um, for yourselves. You know, if you're considering this bag, do you, do you think it looks good? I mean, this might be what you're carrying. And outside of those situations where it is packed to the brim, this could be what, you, um, you know, what you're looking at all the time. Now, I did carry this as a EDC bag to and from work for at least a year without, before I changed bags. Um, I really loved this bag when I had it at the very beginning. It's a fantastic bag. This, this nylon gets very comfortable and you know gets even more worn in as you have it. It drapes really nicely. And ultimately, I find that it is a very comfortable bag. I love the bottle pockets. I love the design. Um, language that Evergoods chooses. I like how sleek it looks and I like the 26 liter version. I think it fits my frame a little bit better than the 22. The 22 is great. You know, I could put everything that I have right here in the 22, no problem, but you just lose that extra bit of space that you might want just in case. So EDC, I give it a thumbs up. Um, I think it's a great option. Downside being that laptop compartment. If that bugs you, maybe think about having something where you've got better external access like the CTV or that CPL line. And outside of that, um, you know, that's the only con I have for this bag besides not having strap keepers. I think that would be such a simple thing to implement and folks who want to use it can and folks who don't, you know, that small elastic just hanging down here. It's, it's such a small thing, and I think it would I think it makes such a nice difference. But travel, um, I think this is a fantastic bag for travel. It easily fit four days worth of clothes. Um, you know, you pack minimally. This bag fits all of this stuff, plus, you know, sub out one of the two tech kits that I'm showing you for a dop kit, and, you know, you're on your way, right? Take this bag, you can one bag travel with it pairs really well um, with luggage, though this bag does not have a luggage pass-through. CTB35 has the pass-through right here, the handle. The CTB26 has the pass-through here on the side behind the back panel. This doesn't offer that, so um, you're not gonna be able to stash this on your roller as it comes. You can find a way to sort of use the straps to do that but just note that in case you are planning on using this for travel, it's not going to secure it to your roller bag. This is a fantastic bag. Um, I, I love this bag from the first day that I got it. I still love it now. Though, just being honest, I find myself drawn to the other two primary lines. Well, not the other two, there's many other lines um, A bag at Evergoods, but I find myself being drawn to the CPL and the CTB. 
And the reason for that is simply the externally accessed laptop compartment. Um, additionally, the CTB gives you one more front pocket for access. So it really just, it's what you want. What do you think matters most to you? Do you like the aesthetic of this Civic half zip line? Do you want something maybe a little bit more tuned to travel? Considering something like the CTB, where you're gonna have the pass through, you're gonna have extra pockets. You've got a second handle on the side, the same way the CPL series does. But let me know. This is a fantastic bag. Kudos to Evergoods for, you know, just knocking those three lines out of the park. And I appreciate you tuning in. If you have any comments, drop them below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one, and I hope you have a great day.